I'm sure we've all been there. You got a great group of friends, and that one friend has a partner that just doesn't quite mesh with the rest of the group. But what everyone had been quietly hoping for has finally happened. That friend has decided to move on, and that person is removed from the group. Now, it's time to remove them from some pictures. This is what we're gonna be looking at in this video. Tips and tricks on how to completely remove a person from a group photo. Not every group photo is created equal. Some are gonna be way more difficult than this. In this example here, we've got a group of six people walking on a beach. We've got a nice blue sky with not too much cloud or sunlight to deal with. So there's three main areas that we're gonna look at in this process. So we're gonna borrow from other areas of the image. We're going to stack layers and use layer masking to hide certain things. Then we're gonna do some final cleanup with shadows and highlights to make sure everything works properly at the end of it. So enough time has passed where it's almost certainly safe to remove this person from the image, but just in case they come back into the picture, literally, we will create a duplicate and keep that as our safety net. And the first step is to grab my rectangular marquee tool. We have a large selection of everybody on the left that we wanna keep in the photo. Hit Command or Control J to place that selection on a new layer. Command or Control T to open up the Transform tool. Now I'm gonna hold Shift and grab a corner and pull out for a uniform scale. Just about there. Now we're gonna drag over to the right and down a little bit. Next, I'm gonna add a layer mask to our new layer by clicking on the layer mask icon in the bottom right. That will reveal a white thumbnail next to that layer, which is our mask. Now with layer mask, we know that white reveals, black conceals. So we're gonna grab a black paintbrush, and I wanna make sure that this icon in the option bar is selected. This is the pressure sensitivity. The size of our brush changes depending on how hard we're pressing the pen down. So let's zoom in a little bit. So now we can quickly carve out as much as we can. So this first pass is really quick, hiding as much as possible. And we can always come back and fine tune this pull things back out to make sure we're not missing any information that we want to have in the final image. And then we can really zoom in and get the fine detail work around the hand. Now I want to be very careful with this hand because I intend to use this as its own individual layer later on. So we work with the interlocking of the, so she's going to be grabbing the arm of the young lady in the pink shirt. Okay, so I went a little bit too far on the outside of the pink shirt here. So I wanna switch over to a white paintbrush and sort of reveal what I hid unintentionally. So let's click Control Zero to zoom out. Uh, we've done a lot of the work already, which is just well, maybe one or two minutes into the video here, so that's great. The next thing I wanna do is isolate the young lady's hand here. So did a lot of work hiding everything around it. I wanna make a selection with the lasso tool, which is L on the keyboard. I wanna make sure we're on the layer itself, not the mask. So click the layer, Command or Control J to place it on a new layer. Now, all the work we did to hide this red shirt is undone. Rather than doing that again, we can hold Alt on the mask itself and drag that up to the new layer. Now, it's a good practice to rename your layers so you know what you're working with. You can use either the Move tool or your arrow keys just to nudge the, that layer over a little bit. First, apply this layer mask. We'll add a new layer mask. I'm gonna turn the opacity of the layer down so I can see what I'm doing and get my black paintbrush again. And once again, zoom into the work area. Now here you can work pretty quickly. You don't wanna to go too far, otherwise we're gonna expose some pink between the two hands, which can obviously be corrected later, but if we can avoid that up front, that'll save us some time down the line. There we go. This person is almost completely removed. Of course, we're gonna to have to work on the shadows on this hand because in the new position, it's gonna be darker and less exposed to the sun. With the shirt overlapping the leg, there's gonna be a cast shadow from that shirt, so I'm gonna to have to add that as well. A wedge between the two friends here that we're gonna to have to clean up. Now we can either grab a piece of the sky or a piece of this yellow and white fabric from the structure behind them. On the background layer, when I get another lasso selection going, Commander Control J to put it on the new layer. Grab that all the way up to the top. So this covers almost the entirety of the gap. There's a little area here that we wanna cover. What I like to do is just create a duplicate of this layer, nudge it over, that looks pretty good, and then just merge it down. We can hold Alt when creating a new layer mask, which is going to automatically fill that layer with black, essentially hiding everything. Then it's up to us to grab a white paintbrush and reveal from that yellow and white fabric underneath. And just like that, every piece of that person has been removed. We're not done yet. We've got a couple more things to clean up this image. The other one we haven't talked about is the line in the sky that we created with that first layer. So let's grab an eraser, 
scoot the size up quite a bit. And we want to make sure the opacity is turned way down. Now we can just circle this back to sort of scrub away this hard line. There we go. Now I'm going to keep my eraser up here. Maybe bring it down a little bit in size. And there we go. Now our sky is blended just with a simple eraser. Next, let's work on the cast shadow. So we'll zoom in on the leg here. Now I'm going to create a new layer and a big soft airbrush. I'm going to take a sample from the shadow on the knee here just so that the skin tones are similar in the shadow. And then I'm just going to build up some color and some shade. Now we can erase with a hard erase to cut back on the actual overspray here. Maybe we can switch the layer to a multiply blend mode. That makes it a little bit darker so we can crank down the opacity a little bit. And there we go, we got a bit of a cast shadow. I'm gonna to wanna to do the same thing on the hand here as well. So we got our hand layer, pull up the opacity 100%. Edge work is a little rough, so I want to clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now that we're happy with the hand, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to apply the layer mask again to this layer. So right click, apply layer mask. Then I'm going to lock transparency so that any paint I add is only going to affect the pixels that are active on the layer. And increase the size of my brush again. Once again, lowering the opacity. I'll take another sample from some of the darker shadow here and sort of feather this up on the thumb and just behind the knuckles. In doing that, I just realized I've got a little tiny bit of red and white hanging in the background here. So here, I want to paint this out. So last area to consider is down in the sand here. We've got a line where our layers intersect straight here on the right edge of this grass leading up into the foot. Um, I'm going to grab a larger eraser and just sort of massage this layer back into place. And I think that might be it. Oh, one more thing. So we got a glitch on the left side here from where our initial layer was scaled up and moved over. So to get rid of that, we'll simply zoom out a little bit grab our crop tool, take a big selection here, it'll snap to the edge of that layer, enter to confirm, and there we have it. The distant memory has been removed. We borrowed some elements from the pictures on either side, some sky, scaled up the three friends on the left, brought them over to the couple on the right, used layer mask to paint and remove the person in their red and white shirt, cleaned up some of the edges, added some shadows, painted in some details, not all these projects are going to be as straightforward as this. Some might be way more difficult, but this is a pretty good idea of how we go about removing somebody from a photograph. Perfect. Before, after, before, after. And that distant memory has been removed. Thanks for watching.